Hi everyone, today I am here to bring you a full body bar class using resistance. So as far as equipment goes for today, you'll need a mat, a steady surface such as a chair, a countertop, or a wall, some light hand weights, anywhere from one to five pounds, and today, in addition to that, I will be using some ankle weights. My ankle weights are two pounds each. They are bala bands. I'll link those in the description below. If you don't have ankle weights, please don't worry. You can do this workout without them and still get a great workout. As always, during this workout, please feel free to modify as necessary and really make this workout your own. When you're ready, gather your equipment because this workout starts now. So let's start right at the center of the mat. Feet underneath the hips, soft bend in the knees, belly pulled up and in. When you're ready, big inhale in, big exhale out. Big inhale in, big exhale out. Two more, breathing into the body. Last time. March it right and left. Here we go. Lift those knees, float the arms. Keep the belly braced. And if you're using those ankle weights already, really firmly draw the belly button in to protect that back and work the core. Nice job, you've got eight, seven. Good, last four sets. Last two, last one, slight change, add a little kick. Nice, now the kick can be nice and low here. Good. Just lifting that heart rate, warming the muscles. Last eight sets. Four more sets here. Then we take the feet a little bit wider. Last two, last one, march it out. Good, when you're ready, add rotation. Elbows bent at about 90 degrees. We're rotating through the waist, pulling those knees up to hip height or higher. You've got eight more sets. Good. Last four, three, two, last one, side step, side to side. Push and pull those arms, soft bend in the knees, reach, pull. That's it. Slight change to the legs. Draw the heel up to the glute. Warming up through the front of the quads. Good. Four more sets here. Four, three. Back to that side to side step. Here we go. Nice, four, three, feet stay wide, bend, reach. Good. Keep it up. Nice, four more here. Three, two. Now same exercise, but we're adding a little leg lift to the side. Nice. We will be doing a lot of outer hip work today. So we wanna get those outer hips nice and warm and active before we get into the more intense work. Good, eight, six, four, three, two. Steady the feet, shoulder distance or wider, hands to the thighs. Round, arch, round, arch. Four more. Three. Last two. Last time. Hands stay on the thighs. From here, press the hips back and down. Back and down. Good, last four. 
Feel that stretch through the backs of the legs. Two. Now we take a forward fold and just shift the hips. Right, left, right, left. Nice. Now if your weights are in front of you, we are going to pick them up in just a moment. Starting to work on those arms in four, three, two. Grab your weights, soften the knees, roll the spine up, shoulders down. Turn your heels in and your toes out. Sink down an imaginary wall. Push forward, forward. That's it. Nice, proud chest. Lengthening the crown of the head up to the ceiling. Warming up to those shoulders a little bit more. Get a little deeper in the legs. That's it. So form, your ears are over your shoulders, your shoulders are over your hips, your tailbone is pointing down to the floor. Activate those outer hips by pressing the thigh bones backwards and ground the heels and the toes into the mat. Let's do four more, three more, last two, last one. Pull the right arm out, push and pull the left arm at a little bit of rotation. So you're looking towards that back elbow as you twist, then stretching the arm forward, trying to reach your fingertips past your static hand. Good, eight, seven. That's it. Four, three, we just switch sides in two and one, push and pull little lower in those legs. It's natural to slowly start to rise. So once in a while, remind yourself to stay low. Static hold in the lower body. Four more here. Both arms forward in two. And one, we pulse and circle around. That's it. Collarbones are wide. Eight. Seven, legs get still in four, three, two, stay low, bend, reach. Little bend, big stretch of the arms. You should feel the fronts of the shoulders. If you don't yet, you might choose heavier weights next time. Four, three, two, reverse your circle, add the pulse. That's it. Eight, seven, Six, steady the legs, four, three, two. Then reach, but this time turn the palms up. More biceps. Good, eight, seven, six. Last four, three, full bicep curl, bend those knees. In, out, in, out. Check in with your posture, nice and tall. Four, three, hold those elbows bent at 90 degrees. Lift your left heel, little pulse. Up to the sky, fingertips high. Eight, seven, six. We switch sides, four, three, turn your palms to face each other. Press, press. Arms get a second of a break. In three, and two. And one, good, shoulders down. Stay in this loaded leg position. Open the arms wide. Different muscle group. Now you can stay here with your heels down or hover the heels every time the arms rise to the side. Think about leading with the elbows. Four more here. Three, heels down or lifted. After these two, we find our balance. Little pulses up. Good. Hang in there. Eight, seven, six, four, three, two, and one full range. Up. Up. Four more. Then we hold those arms up. Turn the palms to the back and pulse up. Last time. Heels down or lifted, palms face back, pinkies up, pulse eight, seven, woo, six, four, three, two, and one. Shoulders down. 
Nice, let's switch our leg position. Turn sideways, bring your feet parallel to one another. Soft bend in the knees, hinge over the hips. Extend and bend at the elbow. Warming up those triceps. Nice, four more here. Three, two, little tiny bend and reach. Push those weights away. Squeeze the back of the upper arm. Eight, seven, six, belly braced. Four, three, long arms, lower, lift. Hip height and higher, hip height and higher. Four more. Three more. Two. Last round. Bend, reach. Little bend, reach. Reach. You've got bent knees. You've got eight, seven, six. Both weights into the right hand in three, two, one. Beautiful. Both weights or one. Make sure you've got a very good grip. Whatever hand is holding the weight, that leg is gonna go back. You're gonna hold the elbow up to the ribs and extend and bend the arms, the arm. Other hand is on your chair and you have the option to float that leg up. Finding that balance. Standing knee is nice and bent. Eight, seven. Keep the hips and shoulders square to the floor. Four more here. Last two. Last one, slight change. Turn your palm down. Keep that same movement going. Bending at the elbow joint. Four more. Last two. Last time, arm and leg, little pulse. Your palm can face however feels comfortable right now. This is the last exercise on this side. Six, four, three, two, and one. Very nice. Switch those weights over carefully. Shoulders down. Arrange your legs so your opposite leg is back. Bend the elbow. Hug it by the rib. Start to extend and bend the elbow. Be conscious of keeping the elbow nice and still and steady in space. Add your leg lift if you'd like. Find that balance. Reaching long through the toes. A few more here. Four, three, two, Last one, little bend and reach. Slight change of the arm, palm faces down. That's it. Four more here. Three, two, Last one, long arm, little pulse. Almost there. Woo. Eight, seven, weights go down. In four, three, two, and one. Place your weights out of your way. Stay facing towards your chair. Switch your legs out again. Take a hinge over at the hips, soften the standing knees, square the pelvis. Slow and long lift. Pointed toe. Squeeze from the glute to the hamstring. That's it. Lift. Your upper body is staying very still. You've got a connection between the rib and the hip, so there's no arching and rounding. Everything stays nice and neutral here. Eight. Seven. Relax your shoulders. Last two, hold it at the top. Little pulse from the tush, up an inch, up an inch. That's it.
Keep reaching long through the leg. Nice job. Eight, seven, six, four, three, two. Bend and straighten. Bend, reach, bend, reach. Your upper thigh is nice and steady in space. You're just hinging at the knee joint and then extending it. The last four. Standing leg is working hard too. Last two. Hold your knee bent. Flex and press that heel. Up. Up and hold. Up and hold. Four more like this. Then we just add a slight change. Last two. Three little lifts. Up, up, hold. Up, up, hold. Higher, higher, highest. Four more. Three. Two. The last one. Extend the leg. Long leg. Lift and lower. This is our last exercise on this side. Good. Four more. So you saw I just took a break. Take breaks when you need to. Sometimes it only has to be a few seconds. Last one. Come down. Rest. Side to side step. A reset for the other side. Grabbing water whenever you need. Hands on your steady surface. Soft bend in the knees. Opposite leg goes back. Square your pelvis. Soft bend in your standing leg. Long lift and lower. Straight up to the back. That's it. Now I'm reaching the crown of my head forward. Nice job. You've got eight, seven. The last four. Last two, hold your leg up at your height, top height. Little tiny lifts from the touch. Up an inch, up an inch. Eight, seven, we bend and stretch. In four, three, two, here we go. Bend, reach through the toes. Four more. Three. Last two, last one, hold your foot flexed. Little presses up, up, up. You got this. Eight, seven, six, last four, three lengthen the leg. Last exercise, full range. Long lift. Nice, eight, seven, six, four, three, two, and one. Stand up. Very nice. We are not done. We will take a stretch after this next set. So I want you to face sideways towards your chair. Bring your heels into Pilates V. Lift your heels up. Make sure those ankle weights feel nice and comfortable. If at any point you need to take them off, please feel free. Good. Now our heels are squeezing together and we're coming up and down an inch in the legs. We're giving those glutes and outer hips just a break for just a moment before we get back into some work on them again. Nice. For now, your focus is on your quadriceps, your outer hips, and your inner thighs. That's it, eight, seven, Take this moment of active recovery. Good. Three. Last two. Stay low. Make it small. Little pulse. Nice and controlled. Heels are squeezing. Yes. Eight. Seven. Four, three, bigger range again. 
up, down, up, down. Starting to feel the heat build again in those legs. Four more. Keep squeezing the heels together. Last two. Last one, little pulse. Eight, seven, six, last four, three, two. Now we hold and press the thighs out and out. Out and out. Good. Four more here. Have you ever watched one of those workout videos where it's like really hard and you're like really trying and you're sweating and your hair is a mess and then you look at the instructor on the screen and they have their hair perfectly coiffed and they're not sweating at all? How, did that, how does that happen exactly? I am sweating here with you. My hair is messy. I don't know how they do it. Good, four more. Three more. Press, two. We hold those thighs back and pulse. This is our last round here. Eight, seven, six, four, three, two, and one. Stand up, shake it off. Okay, outer hips. Still that Pilates V, but this time you're gonna take a little bit of a hinge over. Depending on the height of your chair, you might be on your forearm, you might be on your hand. I'm gonna be kind of in between the two. Reach your outside leg up and down. Use your waist. Use your outer hip and glutes. If you have those ankle weights, good. Take your breaks when you need to. Nice. Eight. Seven. We got this. Six. Keeping the moves very simple here. Four more. Last two, and I want you to find the top of your range and only come halfway down. Halfway down, lift. Halfway down, lift. Good. Four more. Four. Three, back to full range. In two. And one, full range. All the way down and up. That's it, eight, six, last three, last two, last one, last round, hold it up, halfway down and rise, halfway down and rise, I might have lay, lay it a little bit, okay, we do have a little hold at the end of this, four more, three more, Last one, up and hold. Hang on to it, keep it lifted. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo. Take that outside leg, cross your rear inside leg, take a big stretch. Nice. Exhale that breath. Come up to stand. Shake it off, move that chair around, or turn to face the other direction. Heels together, toes apart, lift the heels high. Down, up, down, up, yes. We're taking a break before we go to the other side. Changing our muscle focus. Press your big toes and pinky toes down into the ground. Shorter set this time, you've got four. Last two, stay low, little diney downs. Down an inch, down an inch. That's it. Eight, seven, six, four, three, we stay, we stay low and press those thighs back, back. Nice job, just four more here, four, three, Two, and one. Stand up, take your time, reset. Take your hand or forearm down. 
Outside leg goes out. Stack the hips, draw the navel in, lift. Long leg. All of a sudden, I have an itchy nose, so if I sneeze, I'm sorry. Good. Eight, seven. Four more. Holding it at the top. Three. The last two. Halfway down and rise. Here we go. Halfway down, lift. Nice. Four more. Three. Back to full range. Last one. Woo! Eight. Seven. You got this. Six. Last four. Half range. Seven. We've got that hold coming. Six. Five. Four. Hold it high. Hold it high. Eight. Seven. Six. Four. Three. Two and one. Woo! All right. Nice. Big stretch. Beautiful job, guys. Come up, stand at the center of your mat. Make sure you have a little bit of space. We are going to curtsy side to side. So you want to start at the center of your mat. Take one of your feet back behind you, get low, come to center, get low on the other side. You move at your own pace. If you're not moving with the beat of the music, do not worry. Balance is key. Good, just four more side to side, then we're gonna land on one side. Last two, and last one. Now stay here, chest is lifted. Your back knee is in line with your front calf. Your shoulders are over your hips. You're coming down and up a little bit. Now the amount of external rate rotation you have in your front and back foot is very much up to you. If you prefer to work this in a lunge position instead of curtsy, you are welcome to. Okay, eight, seven. You have weight in the front leg and the back leg at this point. Four more. Three, last two, we hold. Get low and hold, eight, seven, six, four, three, two, little pulses down, eight, seven, six, full range in four, three, two, and one, up, down. One more round of each. Four more. We hold in two. Last one, get low and hold. Eight, seven. Now you could move your chair in front of you or have a hand on a wall. Little pulse, last round on this side. Eight, seven, four, three, side to side. Up and over, up and over. Three. Two, one, land on your opposite side. Find your position. Down and rise. Six, nice and steady for four, three, two, hold low, low. Eight, seven, six, can you get lower than me? Do it, three, Two, and one little pulse. Woo. It's amazing what just a quarter of an inch change can do. Four, three, two, here we go. 
Lift and lower, full range. Seven, last round of each. Four. Hold. Eight, seven, six. Mind over matter, four, three, two, one. Use your mind to teach your body the endurance it needs to get through this. Four, three, two, one. Ooh. Okay, take one hand onto the ankle. Take a stretch for your quadricep. We're gonna find our way down to the mat and do a little inner thigh work. Other side. Nice. So ankle weights can stay. Choose a side you want to lay on. Forearm down, elbow underneath the shoulder. Back leg is going to come over the front leg. Toes on. Grab onto your upper knee if it helps you stabilize. Your bottom leg is extended, and you're going to lift and lower. As high as you can get the leg, and then hover over the floor. That's it. Move with intention. Whether or not you have these ankle weights, make every repetition count. Right? You've got 45 minutes-ish to work your body. It is your privilege to be able to move your body as you're doing. Right? Four more here. Three more here. Two. Last one, hold it at the top of your range. Little pulse up. Good. Back in 2020, COVID times, um, I had breast cancer and went through a lot of surgery and recoveries. And I think that that has really um, enabled me to see the importance of knowing that movement is a privilege, right? Having a healthy body is a privilege. Not everybody gets to have that. So if you've got it, move it. Don't take any day for granted. And I don't mean to preach, but it's very true. All right, you've got three, two, one, full range. Down and rise. Down and rise. Exhale on the lift. Four more. Three. Last two. Lift and pulse. Up an inch, up an inch. Maybe flex the foot a little more, push through the heel. Yes, you've got eight, seven, six, four, three, two, and one. Now lower both legs down, come down to your upper arm. Top arm to the ceiling, options here. Top, bar, top leg lifts, I'm sorry. Hand close to the ear. You can do this with a long leg. Good, lots of options here. So take what works for you. Both knees could bend. Or both legs can lift. Or any combination of these. A few more, four more. Bottom inner thigh is still working. Last two. And one, swing those legs around. Same thing, other side. Forearm comes down, elbow under shoulder. Bottom leg long, top leg comes up and over. Hold on to the knee if it helped. Flex the foot, full range. Lift, lower. Exhale. You got it. Fight for the height of that leg. Nice. Four. Three. Last time. Lift. Little tiny baby ones right at the top of your range. Press out of your shoulder. Stay lifted through those obliques. Eight. Seven. Six. Nice. Full range. Up 
Robin Pulse. That's it. Eight more. Eight, seven, six, four, three, two, and one. Lower the legs. Come down. Top hand behind the head. One knee. Both knees. One long leg. Or both long legs. Zip those inner thighs together, especially if you're lifting both legs. Nice. Eight. Seven. Four more. Three. Last one. And rest. Okay, come on down onto your back. You're doing great. Arms down. Left knee up. Hands behind the head. Twist. Twist. Now externally rotate that lifted knee a little bit because we're going to extend and then bend. That's it. Four more. Three. Last two. Pull that leg long. Come to center with your body. Your opposite arm reaches out to the side. From here, lift. Lift. Now you've got that externally rotated leg so that you can be focused a little more still on that inner thigh. That's it for three. Last one, same thing, other side. Leg lifts, rotate first. Find that external rotation. When you're ready, as you come back center, you extend the leg and then pull the knee in. Four more like this. Opposite arm reaches out, long leg. Reach towards that ankle. Eight, seven, both legs up in four, three, arms down, head down. Externally rotate both legs, crisscross. Now if you'd like, take that shape down and up. Down, two, three, four, and rise. Down and rise. Eight, seven, six, four, three, last two, last one. Now find an angle that you can sustain and just crisscross those legs. Your low back is close to the mat. Maybe the hands come up. Hang on to it. Last exercise of the class. Eight, seven, last four, three, last two, and one. Woo, rest. Very nice job. Reach your arms overhead. Reach your legs nice and long. Let your ribs lift. Take that beautiful stretch. <sighs> Exhale that breath. Move both feet to one corner of the mat. Cross your ankles and reach over to that same corner of the mat with your hands so that your body looks like a banana and you're stretching your side. Nice, switch sides. center, one leg to the ceiling, hamstring stretch. That's it. Maybe point and flex the feet a few times. Good, switch. Nice 
nice job today, guys. All right, bend both knees. Let the knees drop to one side. Open your chest to the ceiling. Take that nice, beautiful twist. Take some deep breaths into the belly, into the ribs. Thank you for self for coming today and showing up. And switch. I hope you take note of how good you feel after having come and done the workout. Nice job. Rock and roll yourself up to seated. Take the soles of your feet together. Widen your knees. Bring your knees together. Come up to standing. We are going to take a four hoople fold with the legs wide. Walk your hands over to one ankle. Relax the back of the neck. Other side. Bring your hands to the center of the mat. Rotate one arm up to the ceiling. Then rotate the other arm up. Come center, soften the knees. Roll up so your hands can be on your thighs. Arch the back. Around the spine. Arch the back. Around the spine. One more time. Arch the back. Around the spine. All the way up to standing. Bring your feet in a comfortable distance. Inhale your arms up. Exhale your elbows wide. One more time, inhale the arms up. Exhale the elbows wide. And you guys are all done. Thank you guys so much for being here with me today. I hope you enjoyed that. Leave me a comment or a question down below and let me know what you'd like to see next. Let me thought you, let, know what you thought about this one and I will see you next time. Thanks guys, bye.